Hi, I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to fold a nice little origami house that stands up. And all you're going to need for this is a square piece of paper. And we'll get right started. So first, we want to have the side that we want, that we want this house, this side, the white side, to be facing upwards. So, and the color side facing downwards, if that matters. Um... And then we want to fold our paper in half, horizontally and vertically. And we should create a plus sign in the middle. And then after that, we're going to fold our sides inward towards that um, uh, half line, the line that we created when we folded our paper in half, we want to fold our paper vertically into fourth, into four separate uh, equal pieces by folding the left and right sides inward towards that half line, that vertical half line in the middle. And then we do the same thing for the bottom, uh, for the bottom side. So we take the side at the bottom and we fold it up towards that horizontal line in the middle and this creates um, this creates little squares that you can see on your paper now uh, throughout your thing and we want to and then after we have all those little squares after folding it vertically and horizontally having all these folds we want to take our top left corner and our top right corner and fold them towards the corners of the squares, the top corners in the squares in the bottom of our square now. So your creases should have created a nice little square at the bottom and we want to fold our top left corner to the top left corner of that bottom square that we created. And we do the same thing on the other side. We take the top right corner and we fold it towards the top right corner of the bottom left square we created. And after that, we merely take our two uh, sides and we fold it inward along that diagonal line. So we created a diagonal line going this way and that way. And we fold both of them in at the same time. So we have this flap. That's what we created. Can we do that? And then we want to press down on that flap and open it up. And when we open it up, we have this little house shape. But we're not done yet because we still have to uh, let it sit. We have to make it so it sits up on its own. And to do that, the first step to doing that is we fold our bottom corners. So our very bottom corners upward to meet uh upwards to fold those uh triangles to fold them up in triangles so our paper should look like this now and again we want to fold our bottom corners up towards this bottom line right here and once we do that we fold our left or right side in so this triangle right here so there's a triangle right here we fold it towards the middle of our fourth square right here so we create a nice square right here and we fold the left side and right side inward towards the square but we're doing one side at a time so once you fold your right side in we are going to take the tip we're going to take this tip of it and we are going to pull it towards this corner at the bottom so this uh, this corner is going to be folded down towards this bottom corner so we fold and we fold back and so now our so now we've had a little nice edge for our house to stand up. 
again we fold across and then fold our paper back and raise our house and we do the same thing on the other side so we fold our left side inward towards the middle and then we take that, that um, this corner, this flap, and we fold it backwards towards the top, towards this bottom corner. So again, we have this nice corner, and we fold it backwards. So now our house is standing up. Now, an extra step that we take afterwards is we fold these flaps, these little flaps right here in, in your house. These, there's these flaps that are created in your house. And we want to fold them, tuck them underneath, underneath the house wall, like so. So it helps it stand away. So when this stands up, there's this flap. And when you tuck it beneath, you don't see it anymore. So to tuck it, we just really open up this side, this flap, the top of this flap. And we let it fold over it when we raise our house. Like this. So again, so again, there is a. When we tuck this, we really tuck this underneath this piece of paper, and then our house stands up. Now sometimes it falls down because it's a little weighty in the back. So you can either tuck your paper, like fold your paper over a little bit, take a little balancing bend. Or you can place something heavy or like a little figure in your house. Um, and I hope you all guys all enjoyed this. Thank you.